Okay. Don't say a word. Just keep walking real casual, okay? Let's do this. Okay, Jack. I'll show it to you, but you can't tell anybody else where it is, okay? I won't, Jack. Deal. They keep it way in the back with the really rare stuff. Hey, what's up? How goes it? Good to see you. The kids who work here don't know where it came from, of course, but neither do the old timers. None of them bought it, so there's no tracking number. As far as they know, it's just always been here. <laughs> this is where they usually keep it. Uh-oh. No, no, did somebody buy it? Oh, man! I would have bought it myself, but I just felt like it was too big, too valuable, like the kind of thing no one man should possess. Yes! Here it is. Okay. You sure you're ready for this? Because what I hold in my hand is not just gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your soul. Go ahead. Open it. If you dare. I love how over the top he is. Honestly, one of the best openings in uh, in video games I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, here we are. Hey guys, welcome to the channel yet again, and welcome back, the Green Scorpion. Hey, I'm back, people. I'm the comic foil, of course, and uh, no, I don't want to continue. I want to start a new game of Brutal Legend. Uh, this was, of course, one of the winners of Steam Semper way back in 2020. I'm sorry, we're only getting to it now. Hey, no one's gonna blame you. Things kind of went to heck um, yeah. over the past couple of years. So, um, yeah, let's jump in. Uh, this will overwrite your save progress. That's okay. So, I have seen, like, the first 30 minutes of this game for when I played it for Steam Semper, but other than that... I'm only going in with some, like, cultural osmosis about the game. I, I, I've i beaten this game, like, a couple of times by this point, so I know what to expect, so I'll kind of act as your, I guess in a way, roadie. <laughs> yeah, my, my psychopomp, because this might kill me. Yeah. Yeah, normal difficulty's fine, but yeah, um, I guess I'm not, I guess roadie is not accurate, because I'm, I'm in the spotlight with you. <laughs> and, I, and I'm no rock star. Yeah, so. <laughs> but here we go. I do like this game a lot. Watch it. Dude, check it. Oh, hey, Riggs. Uh, sorry I smashed your guitar last night. <laughs> what the? It's like new. Whoa, how'd you do that? Yeah, I'll try not to smash it so much this time. I'm pretty sure that's a, mess with that. the guy who does the voice of Raz. Maybe. Because, <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. man. I hate to ask, but our manager wanted to know, when are you gonna build us, like, a new set? This Stonehenge stuff was funny in a kind of ironic retro sort of way, but... Look, Eddie, don't get me wrong. You're the best, okay? The greatest roadie in the biz. Everybody knows you can fix anything, build anything. Well, so maybe you could build us something that would speak more to our tween demographic. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to join the modern world, you know? He says while he flips his Nokia. Oh my Freaking. lord. I mean, this was like, what, back in the, the 2010s? It, this was like in the 20 aughts, yeah. <laughs> See, I really don't know much about metal music, so I have, like, no reference to this being bad or good. Well, this is clearly not... Yeah, I can fix it's not it. for Eddie. Except that metal is dead. Okay, no, it is bad. I was gonna say. <laughs> I take it back. That's, that, that's just bad. Yeah. When the music was real. Like the 70s? Earlier. Like the early 70s. <laughs> I love the writing uh -oh. of this game. I'm excited. 
told you not to climb on that, you stupid mother! <laughs> so, uh... Uh, from time to time, Brutal Legend may need to utilize strong language in order to accurately portray the authentic Rhodey experience to the player. Get the mouse out of here, please. Um, I want to hear every nasty syllable, or it's funnier if you bleep it out. I never bleep it out, but yeah, this is your channel, so it's up to you. No, we're, th th this, is, this game is rated at least T. It might be rated R. Yeah, but I think our audience is like at M. least mature enough to understand that this is what's going to be heard, this is what we're going to experience, and I'm sorry... I just want to hear Jack Black curse like a motherfucker right now. Piece of shit! Dance you again! <laughs> <laughs> that uh, dance he's doing Please is from Psychonauts, fall. by the way. Damn it! Good roadie knows his whole job is to make someone else look good. Keep someone else safe. Help someone else do what they were put here to do. Good roadie stays out of the spotlight. If he's doing his job, catches right, the guitar. He don't even know he's there. Once in a while, he might step on stage just to fix a problem, to set something right. But then, before you even realize he was there, or what he did, he's gone. Mm. Luckily, he's got a weird magic belt buckle. <laughs> Hi, heavy metal monster. Yeah. What a cool design. <laughs> Brutal Legend contains some blood and gore, including dismemberment and occasional beheadings whenever it is necessary for the plot, historical accuracy, or to look awesome. Okay. But only when it really would look very awesome. <laughs> Good enough. Yeah. That really looked very awesome. Oh, God. Like, again, this was made, like... Like early 2010s? I don't remember when Brutal Legend was released. I, I gotta look this up. I gotta yeah. look this up. Hang on a sec. I wanna say like 2000... Like 2006. Yeah, maybe it was earlier. Um, Brutal Legend was released... 2009. 2009, okay. How about that? The year we graduated high school. Oh, goodness, it was, yeah. So this game is made by Double Find, who made one, one of the previous Steam Semper winners, Psychonauts. Yep. Which just got a really uh -huh. good sequel that I have yet to play. But um, I love Tim Schafer. He's mm -hmm. yeah. brilliant. Also Ooh. made Grim Fandango. Yep hilarious huh? guy oh yeah like the there, there's just so much creativity in the games that he creates or helps create that it's just it's wonderful uh hey <laughs> hey i'm not your master no you are not oh no oh boy talk about a way to start a game yeah so I am a little bit worried, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, I uh, I totally know the master. I gotta get a weapon. <laughs> We're really good friends. Okay, known each other since need to kindergarten. Need get a weapon. And uh, if anything were to happen to me, I... he'd be super pissed. There we go. Yeah! 
There we go. The separator. Touch not this awesome axe or suffer the wrath of the tainted coil. All right, so yeah, A, axe attack, and the, the, it's pretty easy. I'm a little worried about like copyright stuff for this game. So, oh yeah, because the music. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to keep our commentary up, I think, to cover some of the licensed songs in this game. Aw, oh, man, but I like the licensed songs. I, I in this know, game. I know. I want to just jam out, but YouTube ain't like that. Yeah, um, that that's just how it'd be, unfortunately. But that's fine. So this is like a hack and slasher kind of game. Um, sometimes, sometimes, mostly. Um, this game is a lot of things. Hey, get away from that guitar. Uh, where? Oh, there you are. So yeah, the guitar that you caught from earlier. Yeah. Uh, is that a guitar or a bass? It is a guitar. It is a guitar. Yes. Okay. So yeah. Clementine. A humble guitar back home, but here the power of her rock seems to be amplified by the world itself. So yeah, uh, press X for the shocker and press and hold for the pyro for the pyro blast. All right. So I can shock people, and if I hold it, all right. Yep, there you go. Pull up. It's best to alternate between the two because um, the uh, Clementine will get hot if you use it too much. Makes sense. Uh, defend thine cell. Holding down B will block many of your enemy's attacks. And Earthshaker, press A and X. This power cord will blow everybody away and bring down the house. Basically, um, basically a shockwave around you that is basically your get off me tool. Cool. But, uh, whoop. There you go. And it, like, actually, like, destroys the roof of the building you're in. There you go. Uh, yes, that's another thing about Clementine. Uh, the attacks are unblockable. Okay. So you use that to break guards and stuff. Yes, it is magic, so they... So, like, some things can repel it, but, um, not everything. It is basically your safe way of opening them up, so you can, so you can follow up with the separator. Okay. Nice. I think I remember from last time I played this that it doesn't actually go on until you've used Earthshaker a couple times. Yes, you actually have to bring down the house. Yeah. I, I kind of like the fact that like it kind of prompts you to do that, and it's like, oh, hey, try out this new ability that you just got. And suddenly, like, oh, wait, that's how you progress. Yeah. That was re that's a really good design bit. Look at these. Look at these visuals, All right, man. Nice try, lady. Or whatever you are. I'm supposed to think you're a nun, but I know you're really some kind of big, ugly demon, so let's have it. Aha! I knew it! Big, ugly demon. Kind of sexy, though, in a weird way. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think now, Eddie? I mean, it's really just the face part. Oh, you look like a. All right, uh, lock on. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, I think I heard once the. I'm gonna have to play with the microphone after this. We're having slight here. sound difficulties on our end, but it shouldn't come right. up in the recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll let you handle this real quick. Very cool, very cool. I don't know if I'm doing well or not because it's not tracking my health yet. Um, it doesn't really track health. Um, you know the whole uh, first-person shooter logic where, like, the screen gets, like, more and more... Oh, um, uh, I see. Like, so I got re regenerating health? Yes, you have regenerating okay. health. Okay, all right. Well, here goes. Um, oh, man. Gotta get this thing moving. Let's see here. Dear evil, messed up demon powers of darkness, uh, and unimaginable evil. Please transport me off this awesome corpse pile. I am but a visitor in your strange world, which some would call hellish, but I have to admit, it's kind of badass. Oh, lords of gross leather things and S&M type wear. You know you guys really have style. That battle nun, <laughs> she was hot. Uh, Sorry about killing her, uh, but you're evil though, right? So we're cool. I didn't even know I could do that with an axe. 
I have no idea. By your good graces. Uh oh. Ah, I meant evil. Evil graces. <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> I fucking love this dude. <laughs> Why do you call it a cheater meter? Oh man, don't tell me I've been slaying hot girls this whole time. The axe. <laughs> so you've come for it as well. No, but these guys jumped me and... Hang, Hang on. on. And it was just sitting there, so... You handle it very naturally. Yeah, that's kind of strange, isn't it? I've never touched an axe before. Who are you? Uh, um, right, right shoulder. shoulder. <laughs> We gotta get out of here before he arrives. I yeah. love the writing of this game. All right, double team. When you're near her, press Y for a double attack or a team up attack. Uh, join forces with your allies for more powerful double team attacks. Wait, before who arrives? Emperor Diviculus. Who? Emperor Diviculus. Where are you from? It's kind of hard to say. Um, I kind of oh, live on sorry. the road. Be assured, you don't want to be here when he arrives. Oh, man, what's the big no. deal? You're slaughtering his personal guard, for one thing. Oh, aha. Okay, team up, team up. There you go. And nice. So, what did you say your name is? Come on, we have to run. Okay, we have to run. That's fine. You see those things up top? Bring them down. Oh, they're like motor chandeliers. Yep. Okay. All right, all right, very cool, very cool. Got some more nuns. I'm gonna do another attack. And Grand Slam. Pop up your enemies and knock them into the bleachers out, uh, the bleachers of infinite pain. Yeah, they, they, yeah, this game has like, um, hack and slash combos. There you go. Okay, so it doesn't seem like the Earthshaker necessarily does a lot of damage. It's just got it, knocked back. It's later. a really good way to basically just, like, get them off of you if you're being yeah. overwhelmed. Cool. <laughs> Follow me. This way. We have to get to the door before the... All right, we're at the door. Oh, uh, too late. Too late for what? Are you crazy? We're not letting them all in here. Um, oh, he wants me to look. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of dudes. Uh, you uh, okay, girl? Game? <laughs> what is this place? The Temple of Ormagodon. It's a place of ancient power, but no one knows its true purpose. Yeah, so this is maybe a little bit unstable, but... Yeah, that's th all right. this that's is an old game. Part of the charm. Relic Razor, a rare vine, grows wherever the land is steeped in legend. Play this solo nearby to unearth ancient structures and monuments. Hold right trigger and select the Relic Razor solo from the menu. All right, use L to select solo. This one, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I need X, I mean A, X, Y, X. There you go. What have you done? Created beauty by simply rocking, that's all. Is that helping us get out of here alive? Actually, yeah, I think so. We must make a car. Yeah, I man. love how this game doesn't need to explain why these parts just conveniently arrive whenever Eddie needs them. Like, we kind of just, like, run with it. Look, listen. This place is steeped in legend. <laughs> there are legendary car parts here waiting for a legendary roadie to assemble a legendary car. With an eight ball. Yeah, of course the, the lever is an eight ball. Is it a minecart? I call it the druid plow. Let me show you how it works. What you do, you slam it into goo hoo hoo hello. <laughs> Looks like it's working already. I can't even be mad at him. You've awakened the spirit of the beast himself. I hope so. All right. Now you got driving mechanics. All right. The deuce. AKA the Druid Plow. A temple on wheels. This gift from the Titans can only be assembled by the worthy. Uh, hit the gas and brakes in reverse. Good luck. All right. 
We are going to, yeah, just smash on in here. We need to reach the bridge before they shut the feeding area gates. Feeding area? What are they feeding? If we get there fast enough, you might not need to find out. Man, freaking, we're in like Mordor. Um, what's up with crazy legs? They've called in reinforcements. Why such a large force? What? Maybe because we're badasses. <laughs> maybe for what's his name has something against you. Okay, I haven't mentioned it yet, but this place is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. so these are dark times for our land, but there are a few of us fighting to change the way things are. Is that why you've come? To join Oops. us and fight for the liberation of humanity? I thought no, I could drive through. Really I haven't really thought about it yet, but uh, so far that's the best explanation I've heard. I thought maybe I could, like, topple the Long Lakers. Yeah, no, not quite. The Druid Plow's legendary, but it's not in, it's not invincible. Yeah. Oh, come on! Fucking sick of you guys! All right, while I'm slaying these dudes, you get that gate open, okay? And she's gone. God, she's awesome. Uh, uh, press Y to exit the vehicle. Oh, okay, I got And go for it. Okay, I thought I could just, like, mow them down. But... I mean, you probably could. You know, I probably could. I didn't even try. Nice. Slow motion means I got him. Yep. Well, hi. Uh, right shoulder. There's just <laughs> left. Yeah, left shoulder. Uh, both shoulders, honestly. Oh. Oh. Uh, sorry. Did you know those dudes? <laughs> All right. Uh, nitro. Press the. Press the L to summon extra nitro sacrifice. I guess, like, yeah, hit down the, the press down the uh, thing, yeah. Yeah, sacrifice some control for the explosive burst of speed. Is this a car boss fight? Yep. I actually did this part already, but, uh... Oh, God. Um, you might oh, want to move. Right, I need to... Sorry. I was going to say, you might want to hit the gas. I forgot I also had to press the gas. Okay. All right, all right, we're good. Car, car oh. boss fight. <laughs> what, am I, what am I doing? Am I just keeping him busy? Oh, here she goes again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, I think you gotta press the nitro once uh, she when uh, she's coming to slam down. Yeah, okay. and then uh, she'll get stuck. Okay. Ready and nitro. There you go. Uh while steering sharply to quick U-turn. Okay. Yep, and then you gotta run into those. Like that, Miss Licky? Keep that ugly muscle in your mouth next time. All right, so we rolled over her tongue. One of her tongues. Yeah, I don't know how we decided this is a girl, but... And handbrake. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, all right. Uh, let, let go of the nitro to, uh, to regain some control. Let's go. For getting, getting a little meta there, Eddie. Yeah. So, so actually, let, let it, go of the nitro. I, I wasn't holding on to the nitro. Oh, okay. So it's just a fixed. It, it shoots uh, it, for it, a certain it, amount of time. Yeah. Got you. You gotta let the nitro burn out. <laughs> You'll never French kiss again. What's French kissing? Uh, it's uh. The um. Gates open. What? Oh, the gate. Ah! What's that? I couldn't hear you. It's like you got a lisp or something. <laughs> Over here, you foul and rotten worm. Come and fight so that I may <laughs> wet my plate on your hey, knock that off. and trails. Bring down the house, baby. Oh, mouse traps. There. It is dead. And you, I will now teach you a... Hang on. 
<laughs> French kissing. <laughs> I shall now teach you a French kissing. <laughs> I love how she just goes with it. <laughs> they have, like, they clearly had so much fun making this game. Yeah. And I love it. I mean, it's also, like, very, you know, it's dumb, but it's also, like, very smart, efficient characterization. Because we're not even 30 minutes into this yet, and, like, we know who Eddie Riggs is. All right, gotta move. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. Don't worry, we're way out of the. Ah, shit! The bridge is really collapsing. Just a little speed bump. Smooth sailing from here on out. Watch out for that hole on the left. We're not gonna drive in there. What do you think? I'm stupid? Wow, we're not even gonna need to commentate. They they talk enough for us. Oh my god, right? <laughs> You you chose this game. Well, yep. actually, the audience. Yeah, chose the this audience. Game, so. This was um this was chosen by votes. Right? Yeah. This this was the most this was the most liked video of Steam Summer 2020. It's a great game. Yeah, we'll have we'll have lots of stuff to talk about when we get a chance. I want to talk about Jack Black. I want to talk about Tim Schafer. Um. I want to talk. Oh shoot! Hey, you want to make out before we hit the water? It's your dream. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, that that the feet was worth it. I for that. love the fact that he has. They have a quip for when they're about to die. When they're about to die in that particular way too. Ah, shit! The bridge is really collapsing. Oh my lord! <laughs> okay, so uh. Alright, uh, right, you can go ahead and focus on driving. Yeah. <laughs> that is a really cool eclipse, though, what I said earlier. I'd like to talk sometime on this Let's Clue of my opinion of, like, rock music, but I really don't have a lot of it. I'm not really a... You're not a, you're not a, you're not a rock or a metal guy, are you? I, I'm not really a big listening to the radio guy. Like, me, I don't me neither. know what things are. Admitted, I've admittedly gained, garnered some like appreciation for heavy metal and rock lately, uh, particularly in the last few years. And much, actually, thinking on it now, much of it was because of like me playing this game. Right side. It says right side before I have any chance to. <laughs> oh good. I'm like already going into the hole by the time she said right side. Th 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 this is a great precedent as to what we might expect over the next few episodes. Uh, we'll be fine as long as it doesn't turn into a weird RTS game. I, I do know it turns into a I weird was gonna RTS say, game. do you guys want to tell him or shall <laughs> I? <laughs> like I said, I do know things through co cultural osmosis. Yeah, of course. It, it's kind of funny, too, because I think the first our first exposure to this was when we did Top 10 Musician Fighters, and yeah. you looked up like a bunch of characters, and then you, we were introduced to Eddie Riggs, who uses Clementine. Okay. <laughs> so bossy as if I didn't die to it three times already. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just need to take this a little slower. The sides, the sides. And I can use the handbrake, let's remember yeah, that. Yeah, you, you, you have a brake, so. I have a brake. Yeah, we just need to... No! Hey, you want to make out before we hit the water? No! Okay, so I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. Use the leg, use the leg guys as a, as a, um, as kind of like a point of reference because they are likely going to be dropping into the holes that appear under their feet. Okay, I'm just, yeah. I guess I just like the design so much. I want to like crash into them. Goodness gracious. Well, you you've proven yourself yeah. a, you've proven yourself stupid a couple of times now, Eddie. There, there are three multiverse versions of you that were very stupid about this. Yes, Eddie. Okay, I guess that's kind of our clue when he says that they're dumb. Yep, that they're standing where things are going to collapse. Okay. I feel much more confident about this now. All right, here we go. Oh. We're fine, we're fine. Right side. Yeah, right side. And Nitro, baby! Okay, this is the last jump. No, wait, one more. Now 
Put your hands up for this. <laughs> I wish it didn't cut off some of these lines, but it's cool. Wow. You like the car? Yeah. Can't wait to show it to Lars. Oh no. <laughs> That's a boy's name. <laughs> Let the bodies hit the floor. The victuals, <laughs> they say it was the fire this overburdened himself. No. Far, far worse than me. It was Sakoria. I can smell her blood. The season of pain is upon us. But why has she returned now? What does she want? War. What a great villain voice. Finally. Ooh. I like Daviculus. It's like we should keep moving. We'll be safe in Bladehenge. Here, it's like take Tim this Curry map. in an echo chamber. All right, so that's gonna be it for our intro here. But oh, you're giving us a map. Uh, primary uh, mission: the Bladehenge. Yep, we now have now we now just have to head over to Bladehenge. What's to, in Bladehenge? Um, Bladehenge is the center of the human resistance movement. She's kind of Aha, regaling us. Army on that. headquarters, huh? Well. Right now, the army is just Lars, his sister, and me. What? Come on. Lars is a great leader, truly inspirational. But we've had a few practical setbacks. An army needs food, shelter, transportation. You could probably, like, start so making your way. To yeah. Sounds I just like don't what want to you get need there is a roadie. It's a roadie. Uh, it's a long story. How about when we get to town, we have a big powwow with your whole army. We'll have a campfire, and I'll tell you all about what I do and where I came from over a big flag and a mead. Oh, Things yeah, like that. That's the thing. Follow your turn signals towards the light of the middle gods. It always shines to your current. It's a flagon of mead. It's a drink. Aren't we in medieval times? I, uh, we only have beer, but you can have as many kegs as you want. To Bladehenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next time to Bladehenge. This is Brutal Legend. Um, be sure to let us know what you think in the comments and... Yeah, what do you think? You ready for some uh, wicked metal? This whole game looks like an album cover, and I love it. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, there's just so many cool details about it. Like, look at this world! Look at, oh, it's beautiful! Duh, 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 maybe not run Hi. into the wild fauna. Don't run into the Hello. wild fauna. Oh, he doesn't mind. Look, he's fine. Look a little cutie he is. Uh. Oh, he's hunting. Uh-huh. Alright, we should go. Yeah, let's, let's, let's I go. I see you were in no hurry to meet Lars. I'm not afraid of him. Afraid? Who said afraid? Nobody, because I'm not. Well, good. When you summon the courage to meet Lars, all you need to do is follow those lights. Hey, I got plenty of courage. But I also got a whole bunch of other stuff to do right now. I gotta do a backflip off that thingy. I gotta bite off that double-headed Gorgon. Seriously, blow your mind the stuff I got on my plate. Uh-huh. I feel like the game's calling me out. Uh, I'll see no you next fooling. Time.